room tour. Okay, we got the vanity over here. Then we have our bathroom area over here. I can't seem to find the light. Light toilet here. Pretty picture. Bathtub. Nothing special. Over here, we have my two beds. One for my luggage, one for my body. Chair there. Stand there. Desk. Refrigerator, but sadly, no microwave. Hey guys, what's up? So this is my first time in Canada. I cannot say that I am impressed so far because I'm really not. Um, flight over was really cool. My crew are like really, really funny. Like, I like my crew, and everything's good with that. But it's just like we had to wait forever for the shuttle and a lot of the people were really rude. But like overall, we're at a nice hotel. The room looks pretty basic, but the hotel as a whole is nice. I'm gonna see if I'm possibly thinking about doing some sightseeing or something, but I kind of doubt it. I'm tired, but I kind of want some food. So I'm gonna let you guys see what I decide to do. I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you guys know. So I'm hungry. Does anybody recommend any good food places in Toronto? I'm starving. We're at the Marriott right now. I'm trying to figure out something good around me, but I am starving, okay? Whew. I gotta figure out something. But if anybody know any recommendations for restaurants here in Toronto, leave them in the comments below. That would be greatly appreciated because I'm lost, man. I don't know what's going on. I made my first mistake as a flight attendant. I forgot that everything changes. So I was originally supposed to fly to Canada and then fly home and be done. So I packed a pair of leggings, some extra shoes, a shirt, bathing suit, makeup bag, jacket. Now that trip has been extended to two more days. So I packed for an overnight trip when it turned out to be a three-day trip. Shaking my head. I ordered Chinese food. I'm not sure the name of the place, but I think it's lit that they gave me paper plates. Not sure if I'm going to need them, but we'll see. Okay, so I ordered a combo for one, and this thing is heavy, you guys. It's supposed to be sweet and sour shrimp. The shrimp are huge, the rice is underneath, and I got like chop suey. This is the sweet and sour sauce here. Egg roll there, and some fried wontons, which I'm not even sure that I actually want, but I can't open them. I don't know, let's check it out. Yeah, the wontons are here, kind of like for wonton soup, so I'm here for it. Hmm, I should have got a drink, but didn't. I guess I'll get some water. And yes, I'm being ratchet and eating on my bed. I'm eating on the extra bed, not the bed I'm going to sleep in. So, hey, why not? This is like the weirdest egg roll I've ever seen. Like, who tucks in the ends of an egg roll? Like, I want my flavor throughout my egg roll. I feel like I got played. That's a bull crap. Don't judge me for my pineapple, baby. I have to protect my curly weave so I can look presentable in the morning. And right after I finish this video, I'm sure about to top it off with a bun. Or, not a bun, a bonnet. Because I can't have it getting all frizzy on me. I like it though, it was a cute little something I threw together, you know. But, um, today has been a good little lazy layover in Toronto, almost forgot where I was. See, that's that's one of the flight attendant problems. You never know where you are. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night completely confused, like where am I at? And I have to, you know, go back and look at my schedule. Like, oh, okay, I'm here. Yeah, but I'll get to the flight attendant problems in another video. But um, I'm just gonna finish up my night here. I have an early layover in the morning, so I'm gonna try to get some sleep so I can get up and do these three legs tomorrow I bet you they're three legs but they're relatively slick so it won't be that bad but thanks you guys for hanging out with me I'll catch you guys in the next video peace